Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ghostsmith Gaming with me, Christopher, and we're back with Baldur's Gate 2 and our playthrough of the. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ghostsmith Gaming with me, Christopher, and we're back with Baldur's Gate 2 and our playthrough with the Unlikely Party. The last time we made it out of the uh, dungeons under what seems to be Afkatla, the uh, capital of Amn, and we now can see daylight again. And isn't that just wonderful? And sadly, Imwen has been taken into custody of the Cowled Wizard, so uh, our sort of main goal now is to try and get her out of there and we will we'll see when we get to that point it's not too rather we're not in too much of a hurry i think so uh i think i mentioned this in the last episode i don't really have a sort of specific route that i want to take in this we're gonna play it a little bit you know ad hoc it's gonna be we're gonna do what we do but i am gonna want to um, start with the circus tent down here because as i mentioned it's basically a fairly easy starting dungeon etc etc and we also have uh, we have at least one person with a good weapon and, you know, the person who does a lot of damage. Uh, you do have a plus one weapon, which is nice. We are going to be fighting some shades, shadows, etc, etc. So they need uh, they need some plus weapons. So actually, you have a plus one too. Well, that's nice. You do have th four plus one arrows. Not really enough. So, okay, so these people won't be doing that much damage to those. But there are other enemies that you can do damage to too. So that is uh, sort of what we're doing first. Now, absolutely first, we're taking care of inventory, etc., etc. So we're going to make our way down to, 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 to uh, Adventure Mart over here. That's going to be our first stop. So get in there. And obviously, we don't really have that much money. So at this point, we can't really do much. But there are a couple of people we can talk to, like Gareth here. So, he is looking for salamander dust. What do you need salamander dust for? Well, we're... Uh, no, we're absolutely not a cow wizard. That is cool. It's for it's for a soup, you say. Uh, salamander soup for children and things. Well, that's very... That's very nondescript, isn't it? So, uh, why aren't you asking the storekeeper? Uh, Rybald, we're not on speaking terms, apparently. Okay. So um, he apparently was an apology for, for uh, 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 yeah, he wants an apology from Rybald because he only wanted three coppers for a bottle of pitch and clutch of mycels, apparently, because that's apparently something he values a lot more. <laughs> okay, well, um, so, uh, no, so, sorry, we don't see any. Did someone, uh, somebody sneeze when I wasn't looking? Hmm. He's a bit weird, isn't he? There's a Bralm over here, I need a and um, apparently we should be aware of the Cowl Wizards. Yes, we we pe pretty much know that already. Yeah, and uh, apparently he faced off with two of them, and that's that's all fine and dandy. Don't really care about that. But Rybald, we need to talk to you because we need to sell some stuff. Rybald we have a whole bunch of sir. things. Yeah, the Venture Mart is finally shopping in Faerun. By the selection, lowest prices. There we go. So, there are some items that we are interested in. Let's talk. Well, we're only going to sell stuff, but y you know, it is what it is. So, helmets, we can sell blindness. We can sell these. We don't really need them. Let's just sell all of that. Fire breath, fine, we can save it for now. A whole bunch of wands that are just one charge. The lightning one I rarely use, so let's ignore that one. And the magic missiles, that's pretty crap. The rest of it, fine. Uh, quarter staff could have almost remembered that, but we'll just drop that. Uh, don't think that we need to uh, save the scene gems in uh, Baldur's Gate 2, so we'll sell those. I will indeed sell the bullets, yes. We have again necklaces, two of those. Uh, wasn't any more of anything else. The katana, splint mail, sure. Uh, I will save this just because, you know, it's my sword. I'm going to save it. We, also, ooh, we had actually one or five arrow of biting as well. That's useful. Shortbow, sell all this. Bit of extra cash. Not too much though. Uh, chromatic orb, armor, burning hands, dire charm. We can save that. 
Monster summoning, you can see that as well. Flame arrow, sure. Fireball, absolutely. Uh, whole person, we don't really need that one. And I think the Dire Charm is not that great. No one actually needs Metal of the Dead, so obviously we're selling that. We're not selling the Pommel of the uh, Pommel Jewel of the Equalizer for obvious reasons. We have one Invisibility. We'll save that, I think. Now, the Elixir of Health. Curious Poison and the Season heals 10 hit points. What is this one? 9 hit points. So actually, this one is better than this. So, I didn't have to sell it though. Okay, <laughs> oops. Uh, you have a bow that you can sell. Protection from electricity. That doesn't seem super useful. Uh, vocalize, I guess this isn't too bad, but no, we're not really going to run into any problem with that. No alignment, yes, and all looks minor drain. I think that that is a fairly decent setup. We have sort of stored what we need. So let's start with that, and now we need to set up everything here. So that's special arrows. So I need uh, three, or sorry, six stacks is the general I go for, which is generally way too much. As a matter of fact, it's way too much, <laughs> but uh, it's kind of like, kind of what I like to do. So uh, let's actually drop that and drop that. I'm going to be a little bit annoyed at the, at the fact that there's going to be stuff on the floor. But what can you do? Uh, you don't even have a full stack of bolts. So now you have, uh, uh, should not have put that on you as a matter of fact. You can have the walls for now. Well, actually, 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 uh, put that there. There we go. Whoops. Uh, we can have them equipped. That's that's how those work. And you don't have to have that one. You can not have that one. You can. Well, you can. And then you can have these regular potions. Uh, so what I want to do evidently or eventually is that I'm going to get a scroll case for this guy so we're gonna be fine with these so you need eight stacks you need four stacks sure the adventure marks the finest shopping uh, in all so of so even though we picked up a lot of arrows we didn't pick up enough which is sad so now they stack in 40 instead of 20 so if you need uh, four stacks that is going to be eight. By that, you need bolts, and you wanted what was it? One eight, so sixteen stacks, or sixteen of these. Am I right? Let's see. I think I'm right. Come on. Oh, you. Wait, what? No, I just received so much. No, 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 I didn't. I need to just uh, actually equip stuff. That's why. So now you want one stack more. That, 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 that's why we couldn't buy more for him. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, and two more. So that's sort of the baseline here. Uh, weapons. I mean, how much? We have two, th oh, sorry, 4,000 gold. Is there anything here that is even remotely interesting at this point? We do have a quarter staff plus two, or staff mace. What's that? Two d four plus two, or one d six plus two. So this is obviously a lot better. How is this so much better? How is this so much better? That's uh, two to eight damage plus two. This is one to six plus two with speed factor two. So the staff mace is a lot better, but cheaper. So we could get that to uh, Albiar on, but as a matter of fact, I'm just gonna chill out. We do have a plus four though, that's cool. So yeah, he does have a lot of weapons, etc., etc. but we are running plus ones at least, and I'm not gonna be buying, uh, I'm not gonna be buying uh, arrows and bolts and stuff like that right now. So that's not interesting. We have, uh, do you, would you, would you like plate mail? I don't know if you would like plate mail. Uh, would you like leather or leather armor? Well, you can only have studded leather. Would like a sort of a, a, a way to compare what they actually have right now. There is really no way to do that. Uh, we do have large shields here though, which could be useful. 
I don't think that you had large shield yet. No, you have medium shield. And you have splint mail. So yeah, plate mail would probably be a good idea. And you only have leather armor. Yes. You have a studded leather armor. Okay, well, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. Spawn, I care nay a blot. All that matters is the deal. And Ryball's here to make one with you. Well, sure. So yeah, you have splint mail. That's armor class 4. And 3 versus piercing missile. 2 versus crushing. If we go down to plate mail, that's armor class 3. And 0 versus slashing. So it's actually not that much better. Because we lack the bonuses that we get for various attacks. I'm not going to take that one. However, you could use a studded leather. That is a-okay. That's a bit more resistance, and you can get a large shield. We are going to be able to get stuff like that eventually, but you know, why not the victor? What's that? Uh, charge abilities. Don't know. Uh, let's leave that for now. We have some bracers, etc., etc. We don't really need much more of that. So get yourself that. You get yourself that. A little bit better. Cool, cool, cool. And one more time just to sell those things. There we go. So we're pretty much done with what we can do here right now. We can also go up and talk to Deirdre over here. She has uh, some stuff that she can sell, but I don't think that we are really in a position to buy anything from her. Ma uh, a member of the Aurora's Magic Emporium. Would you be interested in taking a look at my wares? Yes, indeed. So she has very specific things, and they are very, very expensive. So we might look into these at some point. You do have the Sword of Balran. But that is a yeah that is a long sword. So magic resistance plus lore. You have the Shield of Balran. Does get a minus strength effect, but this is the this is the one that you want. Reflex beholder race. And this is actually extremely important for when we go below again, <laughs> below ground in Athcatla. There's gonna be a lot of beholders. And if we have this one, yeah, we're gonna need it. Let's just say that. We are not gonna survive if we don't have this shield. I think that's the case at least. So we're sort of aiming for 19,000 over here. That is gonna be sort of the first goal. And we also have you, Is Lady Youth. Peasant? What did you sell? Okay, I'll take a look at what you're offering. So you have a whole whack of spells, etc. Do you have a spell case? Yes, you do. You, or scroll case. Never mind. Uh, can we see... Do you want anything? Sunfire, not super important. Low resistance. Protection from normal weapons. Improved visibility. Oh, that is expensive. Limited wish. Uh, really no, like, lower, low-level spells that he is missing. So we can shield out with those for now. And you have sword of the same, but yeah, stone skin. Not super important, so we don't really need any of that. Right. I think that we are done with what we want to do in here. So let's just hope that he... No, sorry, we didn't buy any spells. But uh, let's dump all of this into here. There we go. Move that over there. Yes. Yes. So that's that. And now we're gonna go to my favorite place in all of the this uh, area, well. which is up here. My favorite place, because this is where we're gonna be storing stuff. So we have a uh, th 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 there's a container here, which is you know fancy and all. It's empty, and we can store stuff in here, and it will never, yes. never, ever go we'll away, done. which is exactly what I need. Uh, 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 who is it that you have stuff? You have the sword, you have the acorns, like so, and you have the pantaloons. Let's store that. And I think that that is uh, the stuff that we want to store, right? Potion, you just have it on for now. We don't have a potion case just yet. Right, ooh, you, you had that one as well. Okay. So this uh, little place here is going to store stuff that we don't need right now. Uh, which includes the acorns, obviously. When, when we finally go to Windspear. Wind, wind Shear? Windspear? Windshear? Wind, wind, Windspear. Windspear Hills. Once we go there, obviously, we are going to try to remember to pick those up, if we can. So, Omnion Solar here. This tent has been closed off for its own safety. The circuit has been closed until matter is resolved. And what has occurred there? We're not exactly sure. Well, the short began to began well enough and then something occurred. Well, isn't that just interesting? Foul magic. Ooh. We're waiting for the cowboys to arrive. They arrived very early or fast when 
the whole debacle up uh, just uh, a few meters away happened. Couldn't they just have taken this at the same time? I don't know. So nobody's gotten out. Well, we've been told that one of the animal trainers darted out of the show began, but we have not been able to find him. Okay. Well, I can handle myself. Perhaps I can solve the problem here for you. Hmm, very well. <laughs> He's very, <laughs> very easy yes. to convince, isn't he? So let's get in here. And, ooh. It's a bit bigger on the inside, isn't it? Yes, it's actually quite a lot bigger on the inside. <laughs> it's like we stepped into Doctor Who. Right, let's uh, make our way in. And ooh, hello, we have a genie. There's a lot of genies early on in this game, isn't it? And by the way, why did I go in here? I was supposed to do something first. We can actually leave this place, so that's fine. And a wayfarers come to amuse Kala. Who's Kala, actually, as a matter of fact? Who is Kala? Kala doesn't reveal himself to those who are not worthy. Are you ready to begin? Well, why would I want to pass over here? Because it's symbolic of your progression. <laughs> okay. Uh, enlightenment and understanding. Okay. And then it calls me fool. Well, that's an attack on my person. All right, we're ready. Now we get a bit of a... Uh, we get a bit of a riddle here. A princess is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess's age was half the sum of the present age. <laughs> Which of the following then could be true? I think that is this one, by the way. Again, have played this game a fair few times, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sort this out, right? So, uh, the the way that you generally do this is that I mean, th this is sort of where we want to be. The princess is the soul, this the prince will be, etc., etc. The final part is sort of the key, I guess, uh, because we what we get here is the sum of their present age, and we have. You know, four options. We have 50, we have 70, we have 70 again, and 50. We have basically 50 and 70, but with a uh, difference in how uh, it is uh, distributed. So, for example, what we can say here, uh, so the princess is as old as the prince will be. Okay, so the princess is as old as the prince will be. When the princess is twice as old as the prince was, when the princess's age uh, was half the sum. So, uh, what are the halves? The halves are 25 and 35, right? The princess's age was half the sum of the present age. So yeah, 15 and 70, 25 and 35. Uh, so if we go back one more step. Uh, twice as old as the prince was. Uh, when the princess age was half the sum of the present age, it feels like is this is this a red herring? Do we not care about half the sum? Uh, the princess is as old as the prince will be. Uh, it's, it's, it's a bit weird. It will be when when it was. Um, when the princess is twice as old as the prince was. I don't know. I know with this one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't bother. And that's the level up. By the way, th that's good. And I can't leave. I was I was supposed to sleep. Well, we're gonna go in with a bit of damage then. Whatever. We'll, we'll be fine. It's a bit of a level up here. So she gets a level 3 spell. Sure. That's a-okay. So level 3. Uh, do I just go for another... Skull trap or another fireball because I think that those are the ones that I kind of want. Uh, I mean, I could go flame arrow, but I don't think that we need that one. I think I kind of like fireballs. Fireballs are fun and they are indeed a mage's best friend. Now, Tyr is literally to level up his thief level, so another 25 here. Now, I have been thinking a bit here. We could actually max out pickpockets, or I, I don't know if, it's, if it counts as max out, but, uh, you know, up to 100. I think you don't need to go over 100. Uh, we could do that, but in order to be as effective as possible with pickpockets, uh, you obviously need to be able to hide in shadows. And is, we haven't boosted his hiding shadow at all. Uh, but anyway, uh, did we get anything fun? We actually get another backstab multiplier, if we sort of feel that we need that. That's cool. I can get a little bit better at hitting stuff as well. But um, if we can't hide in shadows effectively, pickpockets is going to be, I mean, it's going to be okay. 
But I'm thinking that I'm gonna dump like 15 points. 15 points into high shadows and then the rest of it in pick, into pickpockets. The, pro the problem about pickpockets is that I never use this, which means that I don't know exactly where we can use it. Like, w where would it be reasonable to use pickpockets? Like, which character is interesting to pickpocket? By the way, can we sleep here? We can! Well, there we go. Never yes. mind then. Uh, that's so cool. We, we have all our spells back. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know who we could pick pockets. I will do my best. Would like to do some, but whatever. Who are you? Oh, whoever you are, you must flee this place at once. He's he's killed everyone else who has come into this place. Almost. Oh, please run. You don't sound like a girl. Rather, opposite. You sound like a girl, but you don't look like one. How can such a mon a monster such you have such a sweet voice? I'm I'm not a monster. I don't know if I'm being there, or at least I was. <laughs> too bad. Yeah, obviously some kind of illusion. And um, who is behind this? And it is indeed Kala. And uh, she doesn't know exactly what he's done. Uh, but apparently it's a magic that can hurt you if you believe it. Well, that's uh, that's no good, is it? And uh, yeah, she doesn't know what, she, what he's done with the tent or with the others. So who are... Uh, who? Uh, that's basically the same question, right? Right, that, that was just the same question. A winged elf? Uh, I come from a race of winged elves. Well, that's interesting. From Fania Dale in the south. My wings were cut off a long time ago. Well, that's terrible. Okay, it's not important. We must flee. Um, I'm not about to be deviled by your silver tongue. How about you? No, we're not going to kill her, obviously. I need to know exactly what's happening here. Well, I, I hope you don't, uh, you don't up like, like the others, but all right. I'm Eri, and I work with the circus with Quail. I don't know exactly what happened, but everything changed a few days ago. And uh, it isn't really real. It's an illusion. Yes. So, uh, the minions, they all say they serve Kala. I know he's behind all of this. Sure. He must be stopped. And if you can release me from my chains, I can help you stop him. So, what about chains? The chains are invisible, covered by the illusion, and they are magical. Well, how do we release you? Uh, you need a key for the chains, but I... It won't look like a key. There are a couple of commoners in the north side of this chamber. Don't be fooled by illusion, though. They are monsters. Okay. So we can go into a bit of a uh, yes. trap here, potentially, right? There's a spider here that we can talk to. Can we talk to you, Mr. Spider? Are you talkable too? Oh, yep. A simple woman. Apparently, the spider is a simple woman. <laughs> uh, you don't seem like any creature we've encountered before. I'm not a creature. Well, I didn't used to be. Well, well who are you? My name is Hannah, and I come, came with the circus with my son, although he didn't come into the tent with me. Probably... Oh, right, I didn't talk to the guy outside. That's probably his mother now that I think about that. So how does he become a creature? Well, I'm not a creature. Okay, what is going on here? I don't know. Well, I came to the tent to watch the performance. And uh, there was a gnome, apparently. It was quite silly, it was obvious that whatever the gnome was trying to do wasn't working. Magic fizzled, and then probably something happened. Yeah, the was shifted to someone, I felt sick and horrified, and I think I passed out. And I don't know what to do, my son, you come in with me. Yeah, th that is the guy outside that I forgot to talk to. That's a bit annoying. So, who are these peasants here? They're not people. They're vicious and dangerous. I see you kill people. You must stop them. So, yeah, we actually got a bit of uh, corroboration here with uh, Aerie down here. Uh, I'll try and tell me, do you know where the Kala, where Kala is? And he doesn't. I was leave here for now. So, yeah, we got a bit of confirmation here that these uh, peasants over here are most likely not exactly what they appear to be. So are you guys gonna walk up to me? Oh, you were actually attacking me, and you're still friendly. That's a bit annoying. Let's kill you. There we go. Oh, you're actually some sort of orcish thing, I guess. And we actually immediately just go for this one, so that's good. Dealing some nice damage there. We have the Ogre's Sword. I don't remember that. Okay, that is a long sword with 2d4. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Uh, not terribly good. I mean, I have better, but cool. Sure. Uh, so we... Oh, right. Never mind. The Ogre Sword. Right. Key. Not, not, not now I remember why I picked that up. <laughs> you, there we go. You had the key. Oh, 
or rather the sword. Please, please give it to me and I can be rid of this illusionary form at last. Absolutely. Thank you for trusting the sword is actually key. And there we go. 18,500 experience and more level ups. My skin, it's real again. Oh, thank you, Beavar. But we must find Quail and stop Kala before he does any more harm. And I, Aerie is actually one of those... Uh, the characters that I have been playing before, because I kind of like her. She's a, she's a basic mage, I believe, if I am not incorrect. Uh, wait here, and we will do this. So who level up? You level up. That's very, very good. Level up you, you get some more uh, uh, thieving skills. And yeah, the reason why I haven't leveled up uh, Tears Hiding Shadows is because I've been leveling up hers, and also Ulan's. So you get a whole bunch of saving throws, that's good. More to hit armor class 0, more hit points, etc, etc. Uh, yeah, that, that's skill points. Never mind. So there we go. Up to ninety in hiding shadows. So uh, she On would sh should be fairly Very consistent well. now. <laughs> so we have a pleasure slave. Ooh. Okay, welcome, Lord, to Kala's realm. Be thee not of a pure mind, for surely Lord Kala will destroy thee. Well, who exactly is Kala? Where is this realm? Kala is beyond my ken, mortal. He is the beginning. He is the end. Our God and our King. That's. Uh, that's a little bit presumptuous, isn't it? And I am not his possession. Bow before the will of thy betters. Where can I find him? Uh, we're not. Kalas already found thee. Continue the path. And if you should find favor, Kalas eyes, then thou shalt surely be granted an audience. We shall barge in and kill him, is what we will do. Uh, so we can turn off party AI. because yes. Well, actually, oh, never yes. mind. We can absolutely kill these. What is my uh, but you will go and sort of stand here-ish. Now you will hit that one, because uh, no one else can, basically. Oh, crap. Uh, let's actually use a bit of our spells here. That's nice. Uh, why are you not doing anything? <laughs> Come on, hit stuff. You should be able to hit this, right? There we go. Nice. Good job. See, a bit of a, some sort of werewolf-ish things. Well, they are werewolves, but they're also illusions. Uh, and also, also, but we can we can do that later. Okay, more werewolves. We can have party AI on. Just don't uh, automatically run up, please. There we go. I think that we yes we can uh, we can hit these at least. There we go. Are we not getting experience from these? Well, that's annoying. Oh well. Yeah, just take uh, take it slow. One one, one at a time. Oh, there we go. Twenty-eight crushing damage, then electricity damage, and immediately some missile damage. <laughs> Poor guy got two shotted. Oh well. Yeah, just keep going. There we go. One more werewolf. Just uh, make sure that it you comes to away. us. Next time. So we did a critical miss there. That's very bad of you. Should be the last one. Yes, what? you guys don't need to do you that. You don't need hand. to play. Sure Go up and play for them. Play your bard song. Well, that's yes, it shall over. Be. <laughs> uh, so yeah, these uh, floors, apart from the sort of last floor, is actually not terribly difficult. So we shall just keep going. And here we go. That's the genie again. Congratulations, are you ready to proceed? I am ready to proceed. Go on. That was very, very important. Oh, are we at Kala already? Oh, I thought that there was going to be what more levels, but apparently not. Uh, this is fine. Uh, we can all go for Kala, obviously. We also have a sludge here. Quail. Quail the sludge. Uh, let's just go for you. He's going to try and talk to us. I doubted that you would survive to meet me. Welcome to my domain. I regret that my hospitality will result in your death. Aww. At them, my shadows! If they be fools, my other beasts shall strike them down! If not, the task shall fall to you, my shades. The circus now truly begins! Let's see about that. So we are just gonna lay quite a lot of damage on you. You guys attack him. And he's basically dead. Yes. Can you do your little special ability? And then uh, hit him? I will require healing. Ooh, you were actually See? almost dead. That's a, a bit annoying. Mistake. Are you just... Oh right, we don't have party AA on. Never mind, that was my mistake. Yes. 
Certainly. Go away, go away. There we go. <laughs> and now On everyone can kill him. There we go. Problem solved. And we are back in a tent in just a few moments. There we go. Back in the tent. Aww. Uh, this isn't what was supposed to happen. This isn't what was promised to me. Who promised you something? I have this for too long, only to have my plans shattered by some inbred northern adventurers. I, I just wanted to be respected. I promise you I'm not inbred. Hey. Uh, you, you've killed me. Destroyed Kala with your misplaced morals and beastly greed for adventure. I have. Poor gnome. So what actually happened here? You placed the circus of your personal playground. And you fool, you truly know nothing. An illusionist. I am Kala the Ill illusionist. I was made, in, made a clown mage for the pleasure of the tall folk. And he just bided his time. Okay, mage the criminal and gnome is a spectacle. Yeah, he could be his own master in here. But what about the circus employees, Kala? Indifference killed those fools from the circus. I treat them in death as they were to me in life. Yeah, he's basically full of resentment for people. Basically. Uncle Quail, you're okay. And Quail is indeed all right. And Quail is one of the char characters we can have in uh, Baldur's Gate One. If you play with uh, you know the other characters, I believe he's he is he the one outside of the Flaming Fist compound. Or is he the one just inside of the Baldur's, like the the, uh, the bridge of Baldur's Gate? Hmm. I think it's one of one of those two. Probably, probably one at the bridge. As a matter of fact, and um, yep, he knew color would trip over himself eventually. What would I ever do without you? Well, I think you need to find out, my dear. I've taught you everything I can. It is time. So yeah, you are the wisest, smartest, and the kindest man I'll ever know. That is very, very true. And uh, no, sorry, we don't really want you. Perhaps another time, and um, come back and visit, and maybe you'll have need of me in the future. So is she going to be hanging around here? Potentially. Uh, let's just pick up stuff that I can sell Consider down the line. Done. Whole bunch of money as well. Uh, so there we go. Uh, was any of this actually interesting? We have a protection for petrification. Can you use that? Are there... I don't remember if there are that many basilisks in this game. Actually, don't remember. Uh, you, hey, see, good thing we didn't buy that one. <laughs> uh, I don't think that any else of this is interesting, such as that. Dispel magic, yes. Identify, yes. We can take that one. Uh, the rest of it we can just leave B, or rather we can sell. So, can you identify a bit here? We have Elves Bane. Armor class plus three versus missile and piercing attacks. Uh, why don't you have that? That seems fine, because you're, you're always a little bit uh, up ahead, so taking a bit more, or rather less damage from missiles is just a good thing. Ring of Human Influence, Charisma 18. Well, no one really needs a Charisma 18, because Thorvar has Charisma 18. You have Charisma 18. Well, you can get Charisma 18 if you want to. There's really no reason for it. But, uh, eh, whatever. There you go. You now have a Charisma 18. Good job. Uh, don't think that there is much else we need in here. No. So let's just leave. Come on. Come on. Stop running around on each other. I will do my Giran! Who are you? My mom is still inside. Uh, quit your whining. What are you talking about, child? My mom went to the tent to see the show, but something happened. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find your mother all right. Just calm down and be brave. That is, uh, yeah. Should have talked to you first. Uh, let's get... Come on. Move out and move in. So, Hannah. Where are you? Where are you, Hannah? Uh, there we go. There's Hannah. Let's talk to her. Well met and welcome. Yes, legs and hands. I have hands again. Mama's on her way to Giran. Indeed. Let's get out and see if he wants to talk to us immediately. Giran, we have your, your mother. You? Thank for seeing my mother. Yay, 2500 experience. Woo. Awesome. Let's get back to the adventure remark and some the stuff that we just picked up. The stuff that we don't need. Very just for some extra money again. Which is just beautiful. Uh, sell, 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 sell. Okay, so regular weapons 
don't bother. Uh, not enough money from those. <laughs> uh, I think that everyone else is a okay. Right. Yes. So that's that. Uh, we did suffer a bit of damage here. So let's uh, get up to the Myth Rest Inn. And I don't remember if. Is there a fight there now? Or is there a fight there later? Or is there never a fight there? Sort of feels as if there is a fight. But I'm not really remembering, I think. Let's just walk in and have what you just walk be. forward. Uh, seems fine. <laughs> Might not be this place that has a fight, but uh, I think there's a fight somewhere. Okay, come on. We need uh, everyone to be at least a little bit closer. Let's not do Pugni here. A very beautiful Never name. I wish to per peruse your assortment here. There we go. So, we have done sort of the first little bit that we can do here in Athkatla. Now, I don't remember exactly where sort of everything is. I don't know if there's anything we can sort of pick up right now. We've had the ore merchant. I guess we can... Uh, can we talk to the ore merchant? Or rather, is there a point in us talking to the ore merchant now? Or is that something for later? And the weaponsmiths over here. Isn't, this, isn't there something here? I mean, I'm probably going to miss a few of the sort of smaller... Of the smaller... Uh, quests that exist most likely but yeah you can see there are a couple of uh, yes, couple of named best. characters here oh it was what all the way task? down there let's uh, move everyone forward on my honor. Yes. And you can go and talk to Quataris here do you have anything for us I don't remember my time is quick okay. so be brief Come nothing on. here really suits my taste apparently <laughs> well I'm afraid that I'm the only player of fine works of art well that, that's not a weaponsmith is it I thought there was a weaponsmith here. Or am I wrong? No, that's actually this you that's a weaponsmith. Uh, Myrtle over here, you don't really have anything for me either. Well, you're all boring then. Uh, let's get up uh, here. Oh, did I? No, we can just walk around here. I do like this uh, little structure here. Completely pointless, but it's kind of cool. And uh, Jerliad the Or Merchant. We're going to talk to you at some point, but not anymore. Rather, not not anymore, but not right now. So, I th don't think at this point that we really need to do anything here. And since we haven't uh, walked out, there's really not much uh, available to us. The game is sort of slightly forcing us to go to a specific place, I believe. But it's only temporarily after that the game is going to open up quite a lot for us so where we are going to be able to go is the slums and it's for a reason we need to rather we are going to be forced to talk to someone over here Galen Bay and yeah he is basically a pigeon because he says coo all the time <laughs> and yes I mean let's be trusting here it's not what I want but what I can be doing for you Okay, that's cool. Um, a young lass arrested by the wizards. Yes, you're talking about Imwen. What do you know about her? Oh, Imwen. Hey, that be her name. Young lass made the misfortune of casting a spell or two in a city that frowns on such business. Bad timing it was. You be thinking you wants to find her then. He's, his language is weird. <laughs> Uh, who am I dealing with here? Well, bless me for being an idiot if I haven't gone and forgotten my manners. Uh, my name be Galen Bale. You needn't stretch your brain thinking. I'd be sure it's a name you haven't heard. Most likely no. You'd be a different matter. You'd be renowned enough that someone might be willing to find this Imuin for you. Or maybe this wizard who held you. Either way, they both went to the same place. And um, indeed, how do you know all of this? I know very little myself. Well, fine. And he was a link with a group that might but know, you say. Not the best place to hold such a dialogue. I be having a place that would suit far better. It'd be just a short walk from here. Well, what okay. Do I you there right now? Unless you have some reason for not wanting to come along. Well, sure. Let's actually go there again. I'm gonna be a bit trusting here. Ooh, come with me then. Damn pigeon. Well, this is a lovely home. It's good to be seeing you once again. That's a bit weird. We just followed you. <laughs> it's 
It's not like you were here and we just stumbled upon this place. We followed you. Oh, well, never mind. As you were able to keep up with me. <laughs> well, obviously, you were showing me to this place. And uh, what is this all about? I'll be doing that as quick as you blink. I'll tell you straight that I know a powerful group that can be helping you. They can be finding the wizard and a young woman both they can. Well, that's intriguing. But they can be doing far better than the telling, my friend. They can also affect the rescue of your last to boot. Well, now I am indeed interested in that. How how would that go about? Well, you should know that it requires my friends to cross the cowed wizard. And uh, not something you would be able to do on your own. And yeah, indeed. W who is this group? Uh, cannot tell me. Well, that's interesting. And uh, apparently they will be able to help and uh, we won't be getting to get much more information like or more than that. So, indeed, what will this debacle cost me? 20,000 gold, you say? That is indeed an outrageous sum. And it's a lot, but uh, you're asking my friends to uh, indeed go against the cow wizard. It's nowhere to lower the cost. No, it's 20,000 gold or my friends cannot help me. Well, I don't have that much. Can you just help me tell me how I can get that much? Well... I sure you spent as much in the past well again. <laughs> uh, should be working the city for you, so basically he's telling me to go on questing for a while. And very well, I'll be back with the money. Bruce will be waiting outside. He's a nephew who show you the copper cornet. That's cool. Lord Jirdan has uh, was inquiring about you, I think. That's one person. And uh, let him on if you if you happens by him. Sure, okay. Well that's fair enough. The deal is made, and you have a goal, albeit a distant one. Your new friend has assured you that passage to Imoan can be bought. Though you are certain the final tally will include much more than gold. Any help is welcome, however, and while the cost may be steep, your path is clear. Finding Imoan will lead to Irenicus and to answers long overdue indeed 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 so get a bit more here these are the prisoners from the disturbance at joaquin's promenade what is known not but their names the mage is john irenicus the girl is emowen i didn't do anything he did it all i had silence child allow the fool to make his judgment why was this man not gagged did he not slay four of you? We dared not approach. Uh, regardless, in the end, he came willingly. What should be done with them, sir? They are deviants. Let them rot in Spellhold. And there we have it. So, um... We now know that they have been transferred to what is labeled as Spellhole. I don't think that I'm going to steal his stuff. Can we, can, well. can we go? Oh, no. What is my time? Uh, everyone, come on. So we have our Ledrian I wait your word. Uh, so yeah, the... Uh, oh, I know a discerning eye when I see one. Ooh, you have wares. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so the the player now, me, knows a little bit more than my character. They have been taking the spell hold, so ultimately that is where we are gonna have to go. But uh, hopefully our our acquaintances, as we will call them, can help me with that. So what what do you have? You have some projectiles. Do you have the protectors? Some extra uh, protection, basically. Cool. Some antidotes, some potions, some more regular weapon, regular re regular plus one weaponry, which is, you know, it's fine, but I'm not gonna... Oh, you do have the gem bag. We will take the gem bag, yes. Thank you for that. Uh, we have a robe for Tyr, but we're gonna get robes eventually, so never mind that. Uh, restoration... Not too bad, but if I'm running around with play negative planar protection, we don't really need this. But it's good to know that he has those. I don't know exactly how common or uncommon they are. And obviously there are 
weaponry here with plus one for eventually when we want to get our uh, our ranged people On a little bit arm. better but uh, it's Excellent. not really necessary right be. now so let's get out of here wow. and talk to bruce <laughs> bruce b-r-u-s that's interesting Uncle Galen told me to give you a bit of help and find some work. Listen up, eh? You're some noble. Uh, here's some rich fellow looking to hire a hero like you to clear Bosser off his land. He said the copper corner some Lord Yerdan or other. Okay. And no, we don't really need your help. We can make it ourselves. So we are here. And uh, yeah, apart, for, uh, well, apart unlike Baldur's Gate 1, in Athkatla we actually know for some reason, everything. We don't have to discover things. We do have the planar sphere over here. Oh, no, no, we don't need to go there. Chill out. We're gonna go here eventually. That's a fun dungeon. N not at all. It's a horrible, horrible dungeon. We have Johnson over here, the Johnson home. We've been talking a bit about John Johnson. He's here. We have the Slaver's Decade here. We're gonna do something. Is that something we can do fairly soon? I wonder. That isn't a super difficult uh, quest, is it? I don't think so. Might be that we do the slaver thing. Oh, we have these guys. Do you are you gonna want to bother me right now? Or is that for later? Out of my way, you there? Yeah, Calm me down, her. Corvair. Mr. F don't like you killing people in the streets. Shut your mouth, dwarf. As for you, I said get your stinking hide out of my way. Are you speaking to me? Speaking no longer, but killing! Oh, you are very impatient, apparently. Uh, no, you done it, blasted fool. Could you see he was armed? Well, we're more armed. So let's just kill them. <laughs> let's just kill them. <laughs> you, you, you're really not a big problem. There we go. You're taking a bit of damage. I don't like that you're taking so much damage. But yeah, not really a problem. Uh, by the way, I think that I want you to have this one. At least for now. So when we pick up stuff like this, we or actually can we drop rings in that? Yes, we can. That's cool. More containers is always very, very nice. I don't think that anyone else wants anything here. Nope. So that's just a town cry. I don't care about you. Let's get into the copper coronet and we'll sort of do this as our final thing this episode. Because there are a couple of things that we can do in here. Hello, everybody. We have you. You are the uh, uh, the caretaker for the ring down here, but we'll move over. Yoshimo's here, just chilling out. We have Anoman over here. This is another playable character. Strangers, perhaps you have more courage than the worms that frequent this pit of corruption. I am Anoman, warrior priest of Helm. What is your name? I am Torwern. Pleasure to meet you. Well, let's speak then. Is it your is your heart filled with courage or be it steeped in cowardice? Uh, truly, sir, I am a coward through and through. <laughs> of course, I am courageous. I trust that your accounting is true. Tell me, Torwern, be you a force of evil and good? I am a force of righteousness. That is the true uh, true answer here. Perhaps I found the worthy companions, but uh, regretfully, I must decline your offer. So, yeah, he's sort of a is he a paladin? Or you see some sort of mix class. Are I don't know. Yet another Anyone? playable character. You all know me. I've helped some of you. Is this the thanks I get? I've helped lots of your kind. Oh, I like her. She's basically a sort of noble, noble daughter. And <laughs> you all know me. <laughs> Do we? I have no idea who you are. Come down and tell me what's wrong. Well, you need a strong hand to help me. Well, is on a siege and none of this rabble will aid me. So who are we fighting, exactly? There is no time! I hope that the attackers have not made it inside. Okay, well, I'll tell you a secret I can. Perhaps you'll be able to sneak in and attack from a more vulnerable spot. I know something about his father. Uh, should I travel with you? And uh, no, I don't really need anyone. We'll meet you there if you point the way. So, uh, <laughs> very well, but if you're considered, I've always wanted to travel. Well, that's just grand for you. So I will meet you at my landmark market on your map. Sure thing. Sure thing indeed. And you, Lobe, who are you? There are some people that I don't really remember. Well. You look like the sort who has more than two gold pieces to rub together. Indeed I am. Uh, I've recently arrived from the Templars of Icewind Dale. It's a long trek, but I wanted to give the most value I could from the items I had collected up north. Would you look to have a look at my wares? Yes, I would. Are these 
things that you are able to get in Icewind Dale. Hmm, a long, very, very long time since I played Icewind Dale, but yeah, Kuldahar. Kuldahar is very much in Icewind Dale. This does seem like uh, Icewind Dale stuff. Well, that's interesting, so yeah. And, a whole bunch of really good weapons here. The plus five sling. Uh, we know bullets are equipped. The sling fires a missile that actually does plus five for the purpose of determining what enemies they can damage. So that's actually interesting. So when you don't have bullets, it's actually plus five. The missiles receive plus five to hit, including the bonus listed below, and deal a total of 1d4 plus two missile damage. Yep, that is pretty damn good. <laughs> if we wanted someone with sling. Which, you know, we might. Uh, Minsk, he's here, just chilling out, and over here we have indeed Lord Jirdan. You there? I would have a word with you. I am called Lord Jirdan Firecrag, and I bid you stand a moment and hear what I offer. Firecrag, is that how you pronounce it? Sure. Word has come to me of your actions. I see you as capable and headstrong, with the ability to handle what air is thrown at you. Just the type of creature that I am looking for. Did you just call me a creature? Well, that's interesting. And uh, your flattery is not needed. I will listen to what you have to say. Certainly, you understand that these are dangerous times. And uh, yeah, extreme measures are often called for. I'm Lord of a community outside of Catlin, while I provide for my people the best as I can. There are some things I cannot do. There are marauders, horrid ogres, and trolls that must be destroyed. I need you. I for grant some. Worthy of a man of your stature, over 10,000 gold if you can free my lad of this scourge. That is an astounding sum for some simple monster hunting. Indeed it is. Small price for safety, and that is indeed what we will be getting. You will be wealthy in my service, rest assured. Uh, you are the choice I make, and the office stands whether, whether you go now or not. Sure thing. I hope that your service will be exemplary if all goes well. We shall receive exactly what you deserve, and that is actually Windsmere Hills. Well, that's just interesting, isn't it? So that's one thing we can do. We can also talk to Tion over here. You! Have you seen my husband? I know he's in here somewhere! I do love this little, this little quest. <laughs> uh, who, who is your husband? Rumor! Lord Rumor! You know who I'm talking about. Everyone here knows who I'm talking about. He's meeting her here again. Rumor's around her somewhere now. No one will tell me where he is, but I will get him. You hear that rumor? I will get you for this. Apparently. <laughs> I actually th think I saw... I, I could cover for him, but no. No, we, I don't want to do that. I don't know where he is, sadly. I will find him eventually. You probably will, you know. Uh, we have Salvanas here. Ooh, you are... You you are an uh, enhanced edition character. I think. No, th that's not you. You, you are the enhanced edition person. Okay, I'm Sylvanas, conqueror of women. And yeah, he doesn't want to talk to me because I'm a man. You can talk to him with a woman. But no, Hexat over here, you are an enhanced edition person. I would speak with you. I need help. I need help getting... She's very weird. Beg your pardon, sir. Hexet is harmless enough, but she can be a little uncoordinated. Sure, right? Those are exactly the words I would use. Sure. She's in here every night, and I should throw, throw her out, but look at her, it be like kicking a sick dog. Are you alright? Uh, I need to get to Dragomir's tomb in the the district with the graves. So why do you want to go treasure. into this tomb? There's a great treasure there in Dragomir's okay. tomb. <laughs> graveyard. Enter from the graveyard. So why don't you spend some time with me, my friends? No, we don't really want you. Treasure? How much great, treasure? Great treasure. Well, okay. And where can it be found? <laughs> we already know, though. Uh, some tad more Graves. specific. Biggest can be Let's District go see this Graves. tomb of yours. But no, we don't want her with us. I'd like to help you, but I think that you're a bit beyond help from anything that's less than divine in nature. Good luck finding your way to Dragon's tomb. Uh, I don't know. Can we do that without her? Possibly. We also have Unger Hildark here. That's a that, that's an interesting name, right? And he doesn't want to talk to us. There's I don't know exactly when we can talk to him, but at some point we can. So uh, Bernard, he's just a person bumbling about. What's on tap? You can uh, do some things for us, sure. But the person to talk to is Lettinan. They have some very interesting uh, voice actors in this game. 
Uh, let's not remain strangers. I'm Torvar. Well, I'm Lieutenant and proprietor of the Copper Quartet. So I'm looking to dispose of some coin. Any ideas on how to spend it? Well, coin is always welcome. You will find the Copper Quartet able to fulfill your needs. That is cool. Other sort of entertainment, though? Uh, other sorts of entertainment? What are you talking oh, about? One is always able to provide entertainment. You are speaking uh, in riddles here. Things like companionship or gambling. Companionship, you say? That sounds interesting. Very well, you look like one who might appreciate such entertainments. Right, go over to the fellow by the door on the far uh, wall and tell him I said to let you in. Talk to Frankie or perhaps Madame Nin if you wish to partake. Ooh, well, isn't that just lovely? We can have a bit of fun with, uh, well, let's just say it, prostitutes. <laughs> so, bouncer over here. We can now talk to you. And we'll be let in with no Declare problem. Yourself. Yep, let in the back. That's just fine. No trouble. Um, or you want to break my head. I don't think that that would happen, even if you wouldn't Any like to try. Reason. Yep, we are indeed free to roam around in here. And we're going to do the fun thing. Immediately, because I, I just love that little mini quest. I don't know if it actually even gets me anything. But here, Rumor, you say. We've heard about yes. you, Rumor. So, ho oh, there! Do you know if my shoe, wi shoe of a wife is out in the tavern? I don't know. Who's your wife? Ha! If you met her, you'd remember. Uh, isn't that right, Pumpkin, as well? Oh, your Pumpkin. He sure is, my sweetums. Um... So yeah, we can. Uh, what we can do, she's out there, all right. I can say I have no idea. Uh, well, if you see her about, be a sport and don't say anything to her. Uh, I I probably won't. I mean, what kind of a what kind of a friend would I be if I just went to talk to her like immediately and said you, that? Um, I met him in the back rooms. Perhaps you somewhere. could find him there. What back rooms? And now she's going to talk to him. Sort of. You let me into his back rooms this instant. Uh, yes, right away. He's very, very... Y you're not a good bouncer, by the way. Rumor! Rumor! Oh, I love that sound. <laughs> darling. I don't like that sound. Don't you darling me! You will come home with me this very instant! Yes, dear. No. You can't have him. He's mine. And of course she's named Pris. That's beautiful. One more word out of you, wench, and I'll be your last. Wench? Wench? Listen here, you old harpy. Harpy? <laughs> Girls, slays no fight. And now they are gonna fight. I don't know if this is random who wins. It is, because last time actually Pris won. So, she, she, you fought for me. You're damn right I did. Oh, darling, I'm so sorry. Now he calls her Sweetums. That's weird. So yeah, that is actually random. It can be either her who wins or Pris who wins. The last time I was here was actually Pris. So that is basic, basically what we're going to do here. Now, what we could do in the beginning of the next episode is we could actually... I think that the slave, uh, slave pen thing-ish, whatever, is actually a decent thing to do. So go in here and find ourselves some more information about stuff yes. in here, along with someone who's actually sort of trapped-ish in here. I think that we can do that in the beginning of the next episode, and uh, it might be... I mean, I kind of do want to get the Arnis done as fast as possible, because obviously this is something that we are going to be able to sort of take over and get some money from eventually. So getting that early on seems like a good thing, right? So, we are going to keep going here in the key, uh, Copper Coronet in the beginning of the next episode. And after that, we shall see exactly what we do. For now, though, this has been Ghostsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.